Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop and welcome back to my channel where I make a lot of cake and cookie decorating tutorials as well as give a lot of baking business tips. So I thought I'd show you guys a video today of some really simple and easy designs that you could do on hearts, but you could really transfer this over to any simple shape. And these designs are really great if you don't want to be switching consistencies all of the time. I find that's one of the biggest time wasters. And if you're trying to just decorate a mass amount of cookies all at once, but you want to keep things kind of fresh and interesting, then this video is for you. And we're going to get into the tutorial right now. So first I'm starting off with pipe and flood consistency. If you want to know more about pipe and flood consistency, you can go ahead and check out this video in the right hand corner where I tell you all about it. But for those of you who are just starting out decorating cookies, pipe and flood consistency is basically the consistency of royal icing in which it's thick enough so it doesn't go all over the edges of your cookie but it's thin enough that it just smooths out and for my consistency I don't need to shake the cookie or knock it or anything and I don't even really use a cookie scribe that often unless there are a lot of air bubbles now I'm using the wet on wet technique here so it's the same exact consistency I really tried to use the same consistency for all of these like I mentioned and I'm just taking a little bit of white royal icing here to create these polka dots and whenever you're creating polka dots all you need to do is you need to squeeze keep that bag in the same place stop squeezing and then lift directly up try not to tilt it now I use a ratio of one cup of icing sugar to one tablespoon of meringue powder and then as much water as needed. Now the reason I always say as much water as needed is because when you live in different areas, it can really change the amount of water that you actually need to add to your recipe. So I say start with a couple of tablespoons of water first and then go little by little. It's always easier to add more, but it's more difficult to take away. Now let's say you did add too much and it's all way too watery you're going to have to add a lot more icing sugar and then obviously you're going to have to add meringue powder as well. Using sprinkles is a great low effort decorating technique that makes your cookie decorating look really full. And when these type of cookies are mixed in with other cookies, I just find it really adds a brightness to the decor. And this design really isn't too complicated. It's all about the type of sprinkles that you use. Keep them interesting, switch up the textures, switch up the colors, choose things that go well together, and always be sure to sprinkle pretty much right after you ice your cookie. And then what I did there was you'll notice I kind of laid all the sprinkles out on one side and then I just poured them off to get that kind of ombre effect. Next up, I have this ice cream waffle cone type of design. This works well specifically with the heart because it kind of mimics the shape of a waffle cone, but this would work too on a circle or any other type of shape. And I started with this color here. By the way, I am using tipless piping bags. It's what I prefer. I just find that you end up with very little clogging. And if you do get a clog, it's really easy to rectify the situation. After letting that set, and I do put these in the dehydrator or the oven at 175 degrees Fahrenheit for about six minutes, just gets that top layer nice and set up so that I can add this on. And again, using the same exact consistency. I'm not switching up consistencies at all. And when you get the pipe and flood consistency correct, you're able to make details like lines without everything spreading out and being too thin. Now, in order to make lines, which I know can be very intimidating, what you really have to make sure is that you're giving even pressure. You start at one end and then you really lift that piping bag. And lifting the piping bag higher will actually help give you more control contrary to what you probably will want to do which is try and keep that piping bag really steady and close to the cookie that will never work now for the fun part and you don't have to wait till those lines dry you can just go right on ahead same thing pipe and flood consistency we're going in with this pink color by the way to get that waffle cone color I mixed a little bit of brown and a little bit of yellow and then we ended up with that waffle cone color and the reason I actually use that is because we're going to use it later on for the pizzas now I just threw this in here I know Valentine's Day has passed but Another great way to decorate cookies is to put some writing on it. So I just did some flat pink on here and then I did change the consistency for the writing because obviously when you're writing, you can do pipe and flood only if it's a very, very big area. I like to thicken it up a little bit, just add a little bit of meringue powder or a little bit of icing sugar or really it's a little bit of both and you're going to end up with the right consistency. Here's the first set of ideas and I realize this is very Valentine's-esque. 
However, switching up the color palettes, obviously you're gonna do different writing and it really is going to be these easy, simple techniques that are going to allow you to bring things together really, really quickly. Now let's move along to my daughter's idea. Now obviously this has been done a few times, I've definitely seen it, but she really, really wanted to make food themed heart shaped cookies. And interestingly enough, it does kind of feel like I am putting pizza sauce on pizza dough, but this is the best technique. And the reason that I do it this way is so that it does give kind of a little bit more of a realistic look. Now, this is not going to look like a realistic pizza. It's going to be very cartoony, but it's twofold. One, that realistic kind of pizza sauce look, and two, I really don't want to overload this with royal icing. I could have done the pipe and flood consistency and all of that on this cookie, but then that'd be a lot of icing because we got to put the toppings on there. So I tried to make that thinned out a little bit more, but not too thin to the point where we can't see some of those streaks in the sauce. I really wanted that on here. Now, after doing that little border, and it's the same color that I used for the waffle cone, then I let it set up just a little bit. It's not completely opaque, but it's set up enough that I can add on the cheese. So I did make sure that the cheese kind of hit the edges just like a real pizza would. Now, I really wanted to airbrush these, but I was running low on time. So if you do wanna go that little extra mile, I highly, highly recommend airbrushing this with a little bit of ivory, just so you kind of make it look like it's that bubbling cheese. I left mine white, but I think it would look fantastic that way. And I'm adding on a little bit of red for the pepperoni. I decided to do little mini pepperonis. If you wanted to, you could make these pepperonis larger and then again, go that step further, add some little white dots on there. Now my daughter's favorite type of pizza is pepperoni, but I felt like this needed more toppings. It needed something else to really sell that pizza concept. So I decided to make some green peppers on here. And I'm using that shape that I feel everybody used when they were in like the first or second grade and you were drawing a bird and it's kind of like a three that looks like it's flying almost. So I, I think that shape really works for this because when you cut open the pepper and then you slice it in half, it's kind of like that shape. So I decided to go with that. And then I decided to add on some olives, but because this was for Valentine's, I decided to add on hearts. But you could easily do this with black royal icing and then just make a little loop on there and it would look really, really great. But I really wanted to sell the idea of hearts. And honestly, if you wanna keep that heart themed, highly recommend this as well. Now these ideas are super, super simple. I needed to get things done in a hurry. I was able from start to finish, even with a little bit of cleaning in between, I managed to get 48 of these cookies done in about two hours. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Speedy Fam. Right now, I'm uploading weekly, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!